After hundreds of hours playing Fallout 4, you're finally ready to start making your own mods, but you've got no idea how to start. Well, let me get you up and running with Fallout 4's creation kit, and you'll be off to a flying start. To get started making mods, you need the Steam version of Fallout 4, and you can download the creation kit from the store page by clicking this Install Now button. Once it is installed, you will see Fallout 4 creation kit in your Steam library, but don't open it just yet. First, you need to add a new setting into an any file, this will allow the creation kit to use records from multiple files at once, be it DLC like Far Harbor or any other mod you might want to use. Navigate to your Fallout 4 game directory and find or create the creation kit custom.ini file. Open the file in a text editor. You're going to want to add a new line in here under the general section. If this section doesn't exist, you can add it just like this. And the line we are going to add is this one at the bottom. B allow multiple master loads equals one. Save that file and now you're ready to launch the creation kit. Back in Steam, click on creation kit and then click launch. If you use Mod Organizer 2, you can also run the CK through that. You can click on edit and add a new executable. So I've got the creation kit here and you just pass it in the creation kit.exe and where it starts in sometimes you do need to provide the steam app id which i will put on screen if you do require it and then you would just choose it from the drop down list and click on run when you first load it up you'll get a pop-up asking you to extract the source files confirm this with all that out of the way you're ready to make your very first mod from the file menu, choose data, and you will see a list of the files that you have. We have Fallout4.esm, which is the base game. We have Automatron, Wasteland Workshop, Far Harbor, Contraptions, and Voltec Workshop, and then Nuka World. Double click any of the files that you wish to use in your mod. For this, we will keep just Fallout4.esm. Then we can press OK. The progress bar will take some time, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel while you wait. Helps me out a lot, don't forget to let me know in the comments below what else you want to see. You can improve the performance of the creation kit by using F4 creation kit fixes from Nexus, you'll find a link in the description below. Once everything is loaded up, go to file, and then choose save. Give your mod a name, and click save again. This will ensure all your changes will only take effect when you have your mod file active in the game. If you've already made your file, you can choose it from the data list. As before, select it from the list by double clicking and then choosing set as active file. This will ensure that changes you're making are on your file and not creating a new file. That's going to wrap it up for this video guys, watch this video next and keep on learning, thanks, bye.